All right, again, we are dressing for the heat and trying to find ways to stay cool. Hottest day of the year last year. We should match that, if not go a degree or two above it today. Fayetteville, yesterday you hit 100, warmest spot in northwest Arkansas, and for the first time this year, you hit 100. Uh, Fort Smith, yesterday, to 105. Really hot. Uh, that was the ninth time today or this year we've been 100 or hotter. Again, we average nine days in Fort Smith. We average one in Fayetteville. We're going to be close. We'll be 99 to 100 tomorrow in Fayetteville. We'll easily be in the triple digits likely tomorrow, River Valley. Saturday shouldn't be triple digits, Northwest Arkansas, but uh, the River Valley, Fort Smith, we could go another day and then we get that cold front to finally come in. Rain chances come with that front coming in, at least a more active pattern, and then some cooler air moves back into five country. The ridge of high pressure shifts back out to the desert southwest. Highs today, again, going to range about 98 up to 101 northwest Arkansas. Look at the warm evening dropping through the 90s, trying to get in the 80s to mid 80s by late evening. Look at the river valley here. Look, when you heat up to around 105, it takes time to cool off. Triple digits to kick off the evening. We're still in the 90s by late evening, low 90s. Look at this, by midnight, we're gonna still be around 90 degrees, some upper 80s, low 90s there, finally getting into the 80s overnight. So we'll likely start out mild again tomorrow like we are this morning. We're already in the 80s in Northwest Arkansas, 80s and 70s in the River Valley. There you go, we're doing it again. The forecast heat index feels like temperatures easily. Benton, Washington, Madison, Carroll counties, 105 to 100. 110 River Valley, I-40 corridor, Washita, Eastern Oklahoma. Excessive heat warnings for another day. Feels like temperatures 110 to 115 will be likely. At least we've had a breeze at times. We've got another one today. Look at these gusts near 25 miles per hour. Northwest Arkansas, 20 to 25 miles per hour, especially the higher elevations of the Washita. So we've got a breeze. So if you're outside and you're in the shade and you got that breeze going, that's about as comfortable as it's going to get until we likely uh, get a strong cold front to get in here. Uh, but I'll tell you this, early next week, still not looking bad. 80s and 90s are on the seven day. I'll show you that coming up. Future track radar for today, a lot of sunshine. We're quiet. Uh, spotty shower chance to stay to the east of us. Again, that ridge of high pressure blocking the storm systems starts to shift southwest tomorrow, and that will allow the chance for a pop up isolated daytime thunderstorm. You see some of them there again, late afternoon, early evening. Not everyone's going to see the rain, but we'll start getting those rain chances back in. You got to start somewhere. And then as we go into Saturday, there we go. Saturday, a stray shower, especially north of I-4. We'll watch that for you. Maybe the first half of the day, a little better chance. And then Saturday night, Sunday. So we're going to get back in this pattern too, where our rain chances aren't all going to be in the afternoon. Some of them are going to be overnight in the morning hours, which is common for this area of the country this time of year. So again, we're throwing in some scattered shower chances. Some of those will likely be a little better overnight in the morning hours. And then some of those will be a little bit better in the afternoon. These rain chances will be going up and down the next few days as we get closer. We'll We'll fine tune those rain chances day by day. But bottom line, pattern shift. We get back into the, the more active flow where we're going to have some chances for showers, a few more clouds mixing in, cooler air mass in place, and temperatures are able to come down. With that uh, 105 temperature, I'm hoping some of those wind gusts you were talking about will maybe.